Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This is Dr. Durr. I'd like to welcome you back to the Wake Up Yasharel channel. All praise to the Most High Yahuwah, from whom all blessings and benefits flow. His son, Yahushua, Yahuwah, is salvation. The Royal Kakadesh, the set up our spirit, the one who leads and guides us in all truth. I'd like to welcome you back today to the channel. Today's lesson is keep them commandments and live. That's what Yah told us in the set apart scripture that we had to keep his commandments and live. He never got rid of his commandments. He never abolished his commandments. He never sent his son to uh, eradicate, uh, get rid of the commandments himself. No, he came to fulfill, like him, which is the Hebrew word, means to bring to the fullness, bring to pass that which Yah has set out there for us to keep and live by all the days of our lives. Look, we love you. Get ready for today's lesson. Enjoy. We'll see you at the end. Shalom. The set of our scripture makes it plain. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. I'm trying to figure out how do we get something else out of that. Even in Christianity, after all them years being taught that the commandments were done away with. And I'm trying to figure out who taught that and how can we read that. Just read it and you read it and get the revelation from it just by just reading it not no no study just reading that verse it says if you love me keep my commandments this is self-explanatory and you, you start thinking about it you realize that witchcraft is heavy in christianity and it has done a strong job on messing with our minds making us think something is there that's not you think about what i just said he said if you love me uh keep my commandments that's plain that's self-explanatory you don't need to go any further but look, what, I'm going to say this to you first. This is 1 John, what we call Yochanan Rishon, the Hebrew name. 1 John, the second chapter. Listen at these verses here. The third verse says, And hereby we do know that we know him if we guard his commandments. We know him if we guard his commandments. You know him if you what? Guard his commandments. The fourth verse. He that says, I know him, and guard not his commandments, if you don't guard him, guess what? Is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So deception is running rampant in Christianity and all these other religions telling us that the commandments have been done away with when that's not even the statement that even Yahushua made when he came on the scene. He, did, he didn't come to destroy. He came to fulfill the commandments. Fulfill don't mean done away with. It don't mean eradicate, throw out the door, get rid of it. No, he came to fulfill, make everything complete. That we'll know for sure that he came down as the sacrifice for the sins of Yahshua'el and to help us obey and keep the Father's Torah, where his commandments and Torah was given to us, even in the wilderness, he expects us to keep them and follow them daily. I know some of you may be saying, that sure is a tough title. No, it's the truth. And you shall know the truth. And the truth will make you free. That's our problem. We want everything watered down. We don't want the truth. But you need to hear this today because the commandments are necessary. The commandments are vital to your walk with the Most High Yahuwah. The commandments is what you need, you and I need, to stand at the gates and to enter into the holy city of the Most High Yahuwah. You're not getting in without keeping the commandments. I know many people tell you that the commandments are done away with. We don't need to do that no more. Those are false teachers. Those are fake teachers. This is my definition of heathens and pagans. Those that disobey Yahuwah's Torah, commandments, and worship idols, and teach others to do so. Those are pagans, those are heathens, and those that teach you this. Every pastor that's teaching you that, they are out of order. They are against the laws of Yah. They are against the Torah of Yah. And they are disobedient, and they're leading you down the wrong path. Let the blind lead the blind, and they both going to fall into a ditch. That's what I love about the Most High. He always gives us the answer in his set-apart scripture, in his Torah, his Tanakh, his Brit Hadashah, his Besorah. You have to understand that the word of Yah is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. You want the answer, go into the word and look for yourself. I'm telling you, that's why it's important. That was the title of my ministry in Christianity, the Word Center International. We kept the word at the center of it all. My wife and I, we talk to people. Keep the word first. Don't let nobody cause you to deviate. Don't let nobody trick you with trickery. Don't let no one trick you with all kind of doctrine. You need to know for yourself. That's why line upon line, precept on precept, hear a little and dare a little. You need to know for yourself. I'm going to use the scriptures to knock out that lie of 
commandments are done away with. I'm going to knock it out with the scriptures. And they ain't going to get up no more. Remember that old song back in the day by LL Cool J? Mama say knock you out. No, y'all told me to knock this lie out. I'm about to knock it out with a right hook and an uppercut of the scriptures in Yahushua's name. i never forget the pastors that I knew. A majority of them always was teach. Well, we out of the Old Testament. We in the new now. But majority of the scriptures I'm going to use are going to be the new. And they're going to knock that lie out, as I stated before, of the commandments are done away with. Now, that right there is going to cause you to see that Yah never told us to do away with his commandments. Never told us that we in some new covenant and that it's all over for the old. No. What do you think the Mashiach and the apostles and the prophets utilized to teach his people? They taught from the Torah. They taught the commandments. The commandments are our mainstay. The commandments are our guideline. The commandments are our direction giver. Matter of fact, the commandments are so important that Yahuwah himself came down on the mountain with Moses and the people and he wrote with his finger, watch this, not on no wood tablets, no granite tablets, but on sapphire stone, with his finger, he wrote the commandments, and he wrote them with his finger, so they must be important for the Most High himself to come down, hallelujah, to come down on that mountain, and to write with his finger his table of commandments. It must have been important for him to do that. And then to come on years later, all of a sudden the commandments are not any good anymore. No. He said, forever, O Yah, thy word is settled in heaven. He don't change for man. He's not going to change. And these scriptures are going to be a judgment against all those that say that the commandments are done away with. I'm going to start here. You see on this page here, I'm going to get to those scriptures. But I want to read these right here that I have here on my tablet. 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of Elohim that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Wait, that's a strike against you. That's a judgment against you. That's First John. That's the new. That's what we call the Brit Hard of Shah. It's, it's against you because you just said it was over, but this scripture said it's not. And then what you'll do, you'll try to go in and twist it. Look at this set apart scripture set up here. It's telling you, I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Fulfill in Hebrew is like Kim, meaning to uphold or establish. Yahushua came to uphold his father's commandment, not to abolish them. Matthew 5 and 17. I'll be coming back to those a little bit later to go a little deeper into that word. Now listen again. 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of Elohim, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. 2 John 1 and 6, and this is the love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment, that as ye have heard from the beginning, you shall walk in them. Now, it's keep telling me to keep the commandments. But you false preachers keep telling folks to get rid of the commandments. You're going to cause people to end up in the lake of fire because of your lies. Let's get to the truth. Revelation 12 and 17, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, that's the children of Israel, that have escaped to the wilderness, going into wilderness training for three and a half years, which kept the commandments of Yahuwah and the testimony of Yahushua HaMashiach. Y'all said those people that escaped are the ones that kept his commandments and the testimony of Mashiach. We overcome by the words of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. Now let's go to Revelation 14 and 12. Notice it's still in the new. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahuwah and the faith of Mashiach. Are you hearing that? He keeps telling us. These are they that keep my commandments. These are those that walk with me. Here's another one. Meme I put up here. John 14 and 21. He that has my commandments and keep them. He it is that love me. And he that love me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him. Will manifest myself to him. We will go into that a little bit deeper later on. Now let's go to Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That they may have right to the tree of life. You're not going to partake of the tree of life. Lest you keep in the commandments. And may enter in through the gates in the city. I just told you that at the very beginning of the lesson. That the only way you're going to get into the city. You got to have the key. What is that key? You got to have the key of keeping the commandments. Let me read it again. Blessed are they. Revelation 22 and 14. That do his commandments. That they may have a right to the tree of life. And may enter in. Through the gates into the city. Hallelujah. That's self-explanatory. Now, keeping the commandments must be taught. 
Let me tell you that right now. I'm not going to deviate from it. I'm not going to change it. I don't care what nobody say. And whosoever tells you not to do so is of her Satan and the devil. Okay, let's go to the book of Matthew 5. Matthew 5, it says 19, but I'm going to start at verse 17. Now listen at this. Think not that I am come to destroy the Torah. I didn't come to get rid of the Torah. That's where the, that's where the Ten Commandments were first mentioned up in that area when Yah dealt with Moshe. Oh, watch this now. I didn't come to destroy the Torah or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I just read that to you a few minutes ago on that meme. Now listen at the 18 verse. It goes deeper. That's why you have to eat the whole roll, line up on line, precept on precept. Y'all want you to know his word. For I mean, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one yod or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the Torah to all be fulfilled. Hold up now. Heaven and earth is still standing. Ain't nothing disappeared. Ain't nothing left. Y'all said the Torah is still going to be standing until all be fulfilled. Everything has not been fulfilled. All the prophecies have not come to pass. So it's not going anywhere. The Torah is still here. Listen at this, the 19th verse. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, whosoever shall do and teach them, let me say it again, whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. We got to stop twisting these set apart scriptures to make it fit your religion. Hallelujah. You got to stop twisting it and making people think that they don't have to do it anymore. Hallelujah. Listen at this 20th verse. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. You better start checking yourself. You better start researching, making sure you're right with Yah. The set apart scripture says, because you think you have eternal life, don't mean nothing. You better make sure you research and study and dig into this set apart word and find out if you're in tune with Yah or not. Thanks. Y'all remember that scripture that says, Adonai, Adonai, in the King James said, Lord, Lord, but we know that's erroneous. Add it in. But Adonai, Adonai, open the door on us. They were knocking on the door trying to get in. He stood up and said, I never knew you. But he said, I tell you, I never knew you. Depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. Now, when you go look up that word iniquity and really research it and dig it out, you know what iniquity means? Those that don't keep the law. Those that are lawless, just like that lawless teacher, Jesus. He's lawless. Remember, the Mashiach name is Yahushua HaMashiach. He keeps the law and obeys his father's commandments. Remember, the workers of iniquity are those that don't follow the law. Those people are the ones he's talking about. He, he said, I never knew you. You were not a law keeper. You were not the keepers of the law. You de you violated the deeds of the law and justice and acts of righteousness according to my Torah. Let's go to Matthew 15 and 9. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Then left the commandments of y'all, teaching the commandments of men. See, that's what I'm saying, having them itching ears, listen to all these false teachers. Many of these heathens, many of these heathens that started all these religious denominations did not come from the Most High Yahuwah. He never gave any religion to any man. He gave the set-apart scriptures to the Hebrew Israelites. Look at Romans 9 and Romans 11. It tells you who his people are and tells you who he gave his set-apart word to and who he gave the commandments, the laws, and the statutes to. He gave it to the Israelites. The Israelites wrote it for the Israelites. Hallelujah. Listen, it was written for Hebrew Israelites, not no one else. The way the other nations are going to come in if they humble themselves and acknowledge who we are as Yah's people and humble themselves and say, look, I serve. I want to keep the Torah. I want to follow you guys. I want to follow Yahuwah himself and make sure I get myself entered into the kingdom. They can get in, but it's going to be on a different level. It's not going to be on the level that we're on because they're going to be more of a servant to us than they have been on top all these years. It's going to reverse. They're going to go into servanthood and we're going to go as the nation of priests and kings and they're going to serve us. Here's another set of part scripture, Matthew 19 Starting at verse 16, and behold, one came, said unto him, good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? He has a powerful question. What must I do to gain an entrance into the kingdom? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahuwah. 
But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Now, Yahushua just said this now. He said, if you want life, keep my commandments. Now, so where are the commandments done away at? Yahushua telling this young man, this what they call the rich young ruler. Look, if you want to enter in, keep the commandments. 18 verse. He said unto him, which? Yahushua said, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man said unto him, all these things have I kept for my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahushua said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when he, the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possession. So the main thing he was telling him was that he had to keep the commandments. Saints, let's go to Yochanan 14, that's John 14 and 15. Now I'm telling you, man, since this awakening, I thought I had revelation before while I was in Christianity pastor for 30 years. I would study hard and the most I would give me a message. Since this awakening, my eyes have come alive. My spirit has been enlightened. I'm about to read this 15th verse. I want you to hear me clear. Just hear me. John 14 verse 15. If you really love me, you will keep obey my commands. Is that not self-explanatory or what? But watch the next verse. 16 verse. After you do the commandment, he said, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another comforter, counselor, helper, intercessor, advocate, strengthener, and standby, that he may remain with you forever. I'm reading from the Amplified. You see how it breaks it down? The 17th verse, the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, welcome, take it in his heart, because it does not see him or know and recognize him, but you know and recognize him, for he lives with you constantly and will be in you. 18th verse. I will not leave you as orphans, comfortless, desolate, bereaved, forlorn, helpless. I will come back to you. 19. Just a little while now, and the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me because I live. You will live also. 20 verse. At that time, when that day comes, you will know for yourself that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. 21st. The person who has my commands, here it is, and keeps them is the one who really loves me. What? That means those of you that ain't keeping the commandment, you don't love y'all. You lying. Next next part of that verse, and whoever really loves me will love, will be loved by my father, and I too will love him and will show, reveal, manifest myself to him. I will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him. Saints, did you hear that? It is right there in our faces. We've been missing it for years. And notice, only those that keep his commandments is those that he sent this Ruach into to comfort us, to guide, and to lead us. That's what it just said. Hallelujah. Saints, whenever you see the word law, don't forget it's a mistranslation. It should be the Torah is not done away with. That's what it's talking about when you read that scripture. But remember, there are different laws that y'all utilize, like the law of animal sacrifice. And see, that was the only law Yah did away with was animal sacrifice because his son became the perfect lamb of Yah to die for the sins of Yasharel. When they say the sins of the world, that word world means Israel. Yasharel, when you study the Hebrew, not everyone, but he died for Israel. What did Mashiach say when he came back? I came to save the only, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's the world he was talking about. No one else. Now look at Romans 7 and 12. Wherefore the Torah is Kodesh, holy. And the misfire commandments, Kodesh, they are holy and just and good. There's another new. You keep seeing these scriptures in the new, the Brit Hadashah, Shah, it's not done away with. Saints, we have to keep the commandments. The commandments cannot be done away with. They are holy. Here's another scripture to back me up. He who turns away his ear from hearing Torah, even his prayer is an abomination. Proverbs 28.9. Here's another one. 1 John 2 and 4. He that says, I know him. And keep not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. That's self-explanatory. Preachers need to stop twisting the scriptures to make it fit the way they want it to fit. And make it sound the way they want it to sound. You're operating in the spirit of Lucifer. And you're going to be dealt with by y'all. Hallelujah. Saints, here's a great one right here. The greatest commandment is love. That's coming from Matthew 22, 36 to 40. On these hang all the laws. I used to wonder what that meant. I mean, I studied that for years. Couldn't never get it. Couldn't never get it. But about 14 years ago, at the beginning of this awakening, y'all woke me up to what this verse means. Look at this right here. 
on these hang on these two. What two? The first and the second. What first and second? Love Yahuwah, your Elohim, with all your heart. That's Luke 10 and 27. Then the second one is love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus 19 and 18. When Yah wrote the commandments with his finger, he wrote them in order for us to love him and to love our neighbor. The first one, the first four deals with loving Yah. The first four commandments. No other Elohim before him. The second one is no graven image. The third one is honor his name. Don't take his name in vain. Make it empty and useless. The fourth one is keep the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Those are the four that honor and reference you So why would the Most High get rid of those four? Think about that. It don't make no sense. He wrote them for us to keep them so we can serve him. He said the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Sabbath was created for us to teach us how to worship and honor Yah. The, the second one is love your neighbor as yourself. Look how these go. The fifth one, honor your father and mother. Why would he get rid of that? Do not kill. The sixth one, why would he get rid of that? Number seven, don't commit adultery. Why would he get rid of that? Don't steal. Why would he get rid of that? Talking about we under grace. We under grace. No, you under grace when you obey the Most High Yahuwah. That's when you get that grace. Hallelujah. And you can keep being obedient. Not going out to commit adultery. Talking about, well, I'm under grace. No, that you're lying. The eighth verse, not steal. Ninth verse, not bear false witness. In the tenth verse, do not covet. So that's the whole duty of man is to fear Yah. Ain't that what he said? Ecclesiastes 12 is to fear the Most High Yah and keep his commandments. So what is Yah telling you? That's what you need to do. Fear Yah and keep his commandments. Man, this set apart scripture today is powerful. This came from Yah. And I pray that Yah lead a lot of people to this. They need to hear this. Hallelujah. Like this meme said, they said get rich or die trying. I say keep the commandments or die trying. Better keep the commandments or die trying. We love you all. Shalom. Thank you.